एडवांटेज ऑफ ए सी ओवर डी सी इन ए सी वोल्टेज कैन बी चेंज इजिली सो इलेक्ट्रिक पावर कैन बी ट्रांसमिटेड ओवर द लॉन्ग डिस्टेंस विदाउट मच लॉस ऑफ एनर्जी बाय अल्टरनेटिंग करंट वी नो पावर लॉस इज गिवन बाय आई स्क्वायर इनटू आर आर इज अ रेजिस्टेंस व्हिच इज रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द पावर लॉस और हीट लॉस एंड रेजिस्टेंस इज गिवन बाय द फॉर्मूला आर इक्वल टू रो एल अपॉन ए इफ यू वांट टू डिक्रीज द रेजिस्टेंस वी हैव वन ऑप्शन वी कैन इंक्रीज द एरिया ऑफ क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ द वायर इट मींस वी कैन टेक द थिक वायर बट बाय टेकिंग द थिक वायर कॉस्ट कैन बी इंक्रीज सो दिस इज नॉट गुड ऑप्शन to increase the area and decrease the resistance and decrease the power loss so what we do we know transmitted power is given by p equal to v into i if we increase the voltage or power is transmitted at high voltage from one station to another station then at that situation current will decrease because product of the v and i is constant if we are increasing the v current will decrease and when the current will decrease in this formula p equal to i square r power loss can be decreased so one thing also you are supposed to know power is transmitted from one station to another station for the long distance transmission at the high voltage also because when the voltage is high current will decrease and when the current will decrease power loss will decrease ac can be easily converted into dc with the use of the rectifier we all use the mobile charger laptop charger and these chargers works on the dc and at the home we are using the ac so with the help of the small device that is the rectifier ac can be converted into dc alternating current equipments are more durable and convenient because they are long life ac can be controlled or reduced by the choke coil at a small energy loss but dc can be controlled by the ohmic resistance and whenever there is resistance in circuit of course energy loss will be more and heat loss will be more disadvantage of ac over dc working with ac is more dangerous than dc at the high voltage reason is that if i say in a circuit amount of the dc is flowing is 220 volt or 220 ampere ac also 220 volts suppose but peak value of the ac at any instant can be 220 root 2 so ac is more dangerous compared to dc ac cannot be used in the process of the electroplating because we know in the electroplating one should be positive another should be negative If we are using the AC, then alternately positive will become negative, negative will become positive, and so on. So this polarity will change. So we can we cannot use AC for the electroplating. Similarly, battery cannot be charged directly from the AC. And last, that is most important, a slight carelessness can lead to the serious accidents in the AC.